Hi, welcome to 3D Animation Agnya. I am Autodesk Maya online teacher. Today we are going to use MASH tool to do cycle chain rigging. Okay, let's start. This is the scene file we created for the previous video, cycle chain rigging, where we used uh, expression editor, node, nodes and lattice uh, and motion path so using those things we actually uh, we achieved the cycle chain rigging now let's see how to do the cycle chain rigging using mash tool so what i have now is this uh, piece of chain big cog is there small cog and a curve this curve is made out of the curve which we used in the previous video which had 500 points so I used uh, curves rebuild option and uh, made it uh, have very less number of spans so for this curve we have only 26 spans that is 26 vertices so with that we are going to do the uh, chain animation okay let's go now let's go to mash tool it's in the animation module mash create mash network settings now I have selected this piece of chain and I have gone to this mash options now I am going to say create this is a default setting create now you can see this has been formed and a new object has been formed that is with this one only we created that is I can hide show and see that uh, show that yeah this is the one we selected went to mash and created the mash network now once we applied the mash it is hiding the original like this and then it is it has created one more thing called mash one repro mesh repro mesh means copy mesh duplicate mesh so now with this only we are going to do the uh, duplication and uh, animation on the curve okay let's go let's select the mash one repro mesh which is newly created go to attribute in attribute you will see one is repro mash repro and mash one and distribute So this mash repro as I told you it's about the transform of this uh, repro mesh that you will see this uh, transform details that's geometry xyz its orientation and uh, these things you will find and if this mash one is about the set of tools you can see so many tools are there audio curve color delay dynamics like that many tools are there and in the mash one distribute there are some parameters which which is already working that is if you increase it will show up so like i will show you see you can see that and if you increase the distance it will duplicate and increase the distance between that you can lessen the number of uh, beads that is the number of meshes and you can see what it is what the change when I do this work on the slider so these parameters are already working on the thing what we have created and this mash one is further uh, usable tools that is further upon this 
what you want to add up those tools are listed in the mash1 node or attribute so now this one go to mash1 distribute and number of points let it be 1 and distance be 0 go to mash1 we are going to use this curve right this curve we are going to use so what we are going to do is this curve we have to uh, bring in to the mesh how go to this mesh one attribute click on the curve icon add curve now sell, uh, middle click on the curve in the outliner like this grab it and put it here once you click to the curve one new uh, attribute window is being added named mash1 curve so in that you have to middle click and grab the curve and put it in that list now we can work on that now go to distribute increase the number of points and go come back to mesh curve increase the steps you will see it is duplicating itself and placing itself when i slide the step okay now go back to mesh one distribute and increase the numbers I think in the previous video we did 47 so I will type the same number and see let's see how it looks okay fine now in the mash curve there is something called animation speed that you can actually uh, that is for slowing down the animation and fastening up the animation if you put it in 5 it will be medium it is now we can play and see how it is you can see that it's in the medium now I want this chain to rotate uh, clockwise like this but it's rotating anti-clockwise so how to do that yes go to animation speed here it's what is already there is plus point zero point five so let's type minus zero point four now you play and see yes we got it so now the chain is traveling in the positive direction clockwise okay so chain animation is done we just used uh, curve tool and uh, and in the mesh distribute we put uh, we type 47 in the number of points and uh, distance will be 0 and in the mesh mash curve we just put the, we grabbed the curve and put it there and uh, we made the step to 1 animation speed is minus 0 0.5 this is all we did and we got the chain animation so this you remember now we have to drive this wheel when this chain is rotating in the clockwise direction this these wheels also should rotate in the same direction so for that I'm going to use expression editor now select the wheel go to uh, first select the uh, mash and go to attribute now this is going to be the driver that is this animation speed which is called time is going to be going to drive the 
two wheels okay so select this one and go to windows general animation editors expression editor in that in the select filter by object attribute name switch on that you are seeing many things uh, you can see time is there. so this time you have to copy and take a notepad before typing in the expression editor type in the notepad you just copy and paste it here uh, so it should be here here there should be another thing I will show you that what is going to be driven that you select and rotation Z is the attribute copy it control C open the notepad and paste it here now this is going to be driven this is driver so driven is equal to driver now I will just uh, put this semicolon and copy this and paste it and another thing also we need but uh, this uh, wheel also we have to add but before that I will just show you this one yes we got it created you can see that in the once we did that the expression created came now if I play this you can see that it is playing it is drive, driven by the uh, uh, chain but still it is traveling in the opposite direction so for that in the expression editor we have to put minus and again edit it now you see Okay. okay only thing i find this wheel is rotating slow so into two you can put and again edit let's see how it works uh, this is too fast i feel so let's cut it to 1.5 and edit yeah this is i feel okay right now we have to do the same thing for this too so let's take up the notepad and we'll select this copy this now you go to notepad paste it here and copy this and paste it here right so entirely copy this and go to select filter by expression name select this one you will see the previous expression now you paste to the recently copied one so now we have for cog b wheel it is now it has become the driven now this cog small wheel also has become going to become the driven now say edit to update it yeah. so same thing we have to do here minus and uh, into I will try uh, 2.5 now let's play it and see yeah so this is the expression we wrote with that we have achieved this
you can put more number of frames so that you won't be seeing the jerk so using the mash in uh, 10 minutes or something we have done it so okay that's it for today. You can visit my website 3dAnimationEgnia.com to know about my online classes and videos. Please subscribe my channel to see more videos on Maya software. Thanks for being with me. Cheers.